stay tuned for Airgun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. I'm JC and I'm your host. And today we're going to take the mystery out of the Umarex Origin PCP 22 caliber rifle. And it also comes with its own high pressure 4500 PSI hand pump. So you have your own air source that actually comes with this rifle, which is a pretty neat concept if you think about it. Anyway, this retails for about 350 bucks, right around there. $349.99, I think is what their retail price is. Before we get into that, I gotta ask you guys, how did you like the intro? That was our winner. That was our number one winner right there. And that was Terry Hurd out of Tennessee, and he featured his friend Justina Kelly. And I don't know if you guys know much about Justina Kelly, but she's actually an actress. She's a producer, singer, songwriter. Um, and if you want to know more about her, I'm going to leave a link down below for her because I've listened to some of her music and wow, I'm totally impressed. But anyway, I want to thank both of them for participating in that. I mean, it's not too often Airgun Detectives gets a star, so we got, we got ourselves a little star there on our intro. So greatly appreciated. All right, let's take care of the business before we get into the rifle. If you hadn't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down there. I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate your feedback. Thumbs up are always great. If you'd like to be notified of any new videos coming out, please just hit that little bell right there, and you'll be notified. In addition to that, let's not forget, I hooked you guys up with these firearm guards. These are these moisture um, capturers. They actually capture moisture. They'll preserve anything that's metal, your firearms, anything you don't want moisture around, use one of these moisture blocks. Sucks up the moisture, keeps your uh, precious items from rusting. So I'll leave a, ding, a link down below for the firearm guards, but don't forget the discount code AIRGUN. You type in the discount code AIRGUN and you're going to get free shipping on these. And they're under 15 bucks, so you can't beat that. Okay, now we'll get down to business. Our Umarex Origin 22. As I said, this is a pre-charged pneumatic rifle. Um, it's a side side cocking um, lever right here and yes it can be decocked hold the um, uh, cocking arm back pull the trigger and then gently slide it forward and can actually be decocked which is nice this takes the uh, Umarex um, 10 round magazines this actually comes with two magazines which is nice they're two 10 round magazines comes with your fill probe also comes with as we mentioned before, the 4,500 PSI pumps, and then you have an air source. But good looking gun. Um, if you look at the scope rail here, it's both a uh, 11 millimeter uh, dovetail, or it'll take your Picatinny style. And as you can see, I've got the uh, Picatinny uh, scope mounts on there now. It does not come with this scope, by the way. This is the Axion 4x, what is this, a 4x16 by 44. Uh, Umarex does sell these. Great scope. It's got a glass etched reticle. It's got a side focus on it. Great scope. And this would be good for like a PCP, CO2, something like that. Wouldn't recommend it on a brake barrel. Anyway, this has a, a nice, this is actually nice and light. This is like a hunter's dream. This thing weighs under seven pounds. It really does. Um, they have a gauge in a nice visible spot so you can see exactly where your pressure is. Uh, they put a barrel band on this, which is nice. Help stabilize the whole thing. It's got a little rubber butt pad, but there's no recoil. Um, the trigger is fully adjustable. Um, it's a two-stage two trigger. They're claiming this will shoot over a thousand feet per second. I'm sure that's with a lightweight pellet. That's your maximum velocity. But you know we're going to test that out. This gun you actually filled to 250 bar, which is about 36-25 psi, if I am correct. Um, so it's a little higher than your 200 bar of guns. Um, they're also claiming that you're going to get roughly about 40 shots out of this per fill. Now, the neat thing about this, this has Umarex's special ever pressure tank system. What that does, it compresses the reservoir air with a pre-pressured chamber. So when you pump this up, it's creating higher pressure. What does that mean in plain English? You can fill it for about half of the pumps that you would normally in a hand pump. So this, it takes about 50% of normal hand pumps. They say you can actually do one full powered shot from empty 
um, for 13 pumps will give you that one full powered shot. So you can pretty much fill the tank for about 100 pumps. It'll fill it, and that's all the way up to the um, 250 bar. You can also fill this with a scuba tank. And the way you do fill this, let me show you this while I got you here. Um, this has this nice little rubber flap right here on the bottom. And you just pop this open. Get a finger on here and pop that open. See that? So you have a degasser there with the screw if you want to degas it. And then you have your probe. Nice long probe. But it's as simple as this. You just plug the probe in there. Boom. It's in. And then you connect your pump to it. And I'm going to show you. We're going to... We're going to test this out because I'm going to actually, on camera, pump this thing from zero all the way up and uh, see how well it does and if it does what the manufacturer claims. Then you just close this little cover back up, nice and neat there, and you're set. I really do like, um, it's got a nice big safety on the side here, so whether you're left-handed or right-handed, uh, you can work this safety, believe me. It's nice, easy, goes for it, and it's manual too. We're adults. We don't need our guns automatically putting the safe on. We can put the safe on ourselves. We know how to do that. And especially when you're running, uh, you know, with your side lever and want to do some follow-up shots, you're hunting or what have you. So, we're going to test this gun. We're going to see how well this performs. Let's see. I've got a lot of information to cover on this. So, if I miss something here in the beginning, we'll, we'll wrap it up during the conclusion. So, with that, stay tuned for the next segment. All right, so I want to show you real quick how to put this pump together because I don't want any of you guys panicking when you open up the box, um, the gun box, and you see a smaller box inside and that's your pump. And you're like, oh my goodness, that's my pump. This thing assembles really easy and it's very low maintenance. Um, ironically, they also give you a rebuild kit. So in the event that you're doing a lot of shooting one day and this pump wears out, you have the seals to rebuild the pump, which is pretty nice. Very low maintenance pump. The only thing you're going to need to really do is about every three months or so, you need to lubricate this shaft here and they actually give you a little silicone oil that you can do that with and you basically just put a few drip, drips on your finger and just kind of smooth it down so you have a very light thin coating on that but that'll really help so let's put this thing together All right. first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put the handle on here and if you'll see there's kind of a flat part of the handle this is the part that's going to go down on the pump and this is going to go up to the top and that's going to go right here on this assembly here they do include a little Allen wrench for you in here, so if you don't have one, uh, it's included, so you'll be able to use that. I prefer the little longer one, it's just easier to maneuver. But basically what you want to do is drop these screws both down through the handle first. So there's a little hole, kind of goes right down through here. So you want, to, you want these screws to pop through here just like that. You want both of them through there. Just like that. Okay, then what you want to do is you got to line them up on this handle and then just basically you're just going to screw them in. So let's fast forward through this so we're not wasting too much time. Okay, you just want to snug those down. You're good with that. Okay, the next part we're going to do is this plate. Okay, this is the base plate. And if you can see, there's a couple, couple tapered holes here. Okay, they do give you some nice little instructions here. Good visual pictures of how to put this together if you're confused at all. But you got to remember, when you're going to be pumping this gun, you're going to be looking down at the gauge. So the gauge is going to go on that side, so your feet are going to go on this side. So this is how this plate's going to go, just like this. So the valve is going to go towards the back. And obviously, the tapered part is going to go down. So let's throw this on here real quick. That's the shorter little screws we have. Same thing. There's only... You're only going to have to put four screws in for this whole assembly. Okay, let's fast forward through this because this is a piece of cake. Okay, we snug those up. Okay, now, so this is the direction that you're going to be pumping. So let's put the hose on first. There's nothing to that. You do not need any Teflon tape, nothing like that, because there's a, a nylon seal at the end of this that compresses against. So just hand start this and get that down there until it's snugged up with your hand. And then they give you this handy dandy wrench. See that? We'll just snug this up with that.
Don't overly tighten it, but you do want it snug. Done. That simple. Guess what our final move is? The gauge. Just throw that sucker on there. We're going to cinch that up. Just cinch it up just a little bit. Now that's perfect. So then you ask yourself, oh, is the gauge upside down? No, it's not. Because when you're pumping, you're looking over the top and you, so you can see your gauge. That's all there is to it. That's it. So let's move on to the next segment. Now for a little workout. We're going to test and see how many pumps it takes to fill this thing up. Now they said it takes about 13 pumps to get one good shot on it. So let's pump it 13 times and then check the gauge and see where we're at. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Sure enough, we're in the green zone. Definitely can get a full power shot out of that. All right, now let's see how many pumps it takes to fill this up. And we'll just go ahead and fast forward it. Okay, we're at 50 right there. And looks like we're almost at the halfway point. All right, let's keep going. Okay, that's 100 pumps. We're not quite there yet because we want to get all the way out of the green. So let's see how many more pumps. There you have it 120 pumps from completely empty. So not too shabby. A little bit of a workout, but not bad. But keep in mind, when you shoot this rifle, you're not going to shoot it until it's all the way empty. You're going to shoot, you know, 20, 30 shots, pump it back up. So you might only be pumping it, you know, 30 to 50 times. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. All right, we're going to test our uh, Umar X, uh, the origin here, uh, as far as velocity goes. We're going to try some basic 14.3 Crossman pellets to begin with. Um, after I shoot five of those, we're going to move on and shoot five out of the uh, heavier, the 18.13. That way you can kind of get a good average of feet per second with the different pellet weights and see what type of um, foot pounds of energy we, energy we get. All right, so let's see, shot number one. That's 970. Shot number two, 952. Shot number three, 963. Shot number four, 970. And Shot number five, 963. Okay, let's go try the 18.13s uh, real quick. Okay, now for the 18.13s. The 14.3s were not bad. That was uh, 29 foot pounds of energy. So let's see what we get out of these. Okay, shot number one, 877. Shot number two, 879. Shot number three, 878. Shot number four, 874. And shot number five, 874 again. Great standard deviation. Wow, and some seriously good foot pounds of energy with that one too. All right, let's move on to our next segment. We're gonna test our origin out, do a little accuracy test. Order usual. 60 feet, 20 yards. Um, we just want to see how well we can group at this distance. Um, this is PCP rifle. I'm sure it can do a lot better even out farther, but this is how we're set up. So this is what we're going to do. Hey, I want to thank Splatterburst once again for providing us with these targets because they really, really help uh, see where the pellets are hitting. So I hope you guys like that. Uh, anyway, yeah, as we said, usual distance. Take a look at that. And uh, I'm just going to shoot five shots and we'll see how well it groups here. All right. It's set up here. There we go. Okay. 
That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And one more. That's five. Well, they pretty much all went through one little larger than a 22 caliber hole there. Not too shabby. Pretty impressive. This trigger is actually pretty impressive too. Anyway, let's move on to the uh, next segment. All right, let's test our origin and see how the trigger performs. This does have uh, several adjustments. There's an over travel adjustment. You have a weight adjustment and then you have a length of pull adjustment. So let's just see how well it performs. I haven't messed with it. This is just basically how it is out of the box and it's actually a pretty nice trigger in my opinion. Okay, two pounds, 14 ounces. Two pounds, 14 ounces. Yeah, not a bad trigger at all. In fact, it's actually quite enjoyable. So let's move on to the next segment. I swear this neighborhood can be totally quiet until I start filming. And then you got weed whackers, you got shredders, you got lawnmowers, planes, you name it. Anyway, well, we'll get through it. Anyway, we're gonna try our luck um, out here at our usual plinking distance, which is about 40 yards. Uh, go ahead and take a look at this. Yeah, we got uh, a couple little pigs, little legs, shotgun shell. Um, let's see how well this rifle performs at this type of distance. We're going to go ahead and use our uh, JSBs, the heavies, the 18.13s. Let's just shoot a few targets and see what happens. All right. I think I'm going to start with the small shotgun shell on the right, just to begin with. Because the rest of them will knock it loose, let's see. I would say that's a hit. All right, now we're going to creep in. We're going to hit the shotgun shell between the pig and the red egg. There we go. And let's get rid of the little red egg. All right. And the white egg. And the red pig. Oh, does that hit hard? And let's see, the white pig. What is that laying there on its side? I don't even know. Let's just shoot it. Wow, this thing is accurate and very, very powerful. All right, let's move on to our final segment. All right, so what'd you guys think? Let's wrap this up. Um, let's hit the negatives first. You know I'm a picky guy. Okay, my negatives. I'm not overly th thrilled with this little rubber piece on the bottom. I just think in time it's going to wear out. That's just me, pulling this back and forth. I'm not overly thrilled with it. Man, am I picky? And that's all I'm complaining about. That and you know what the other thing is? Okay. I wish they would have put a little Picatinny rail on the bottom of this because then we could mount a bipod or what have you. Although, I'll mount one myself. I just didn't do it here. But it would have been nice if it came that way. Well, that's it. That's my negatives. Now let's get into the positives. Whew. We got a lot of positives with this gun. So many. Seriously. So first of all, let me tell you off camera. I ran this from a full fill. So I ran this from the full 250 bar, or 3600 PSI, whatever you want to call it. And I got 44 shots, really usable shots. Seriously, I started at 840 feet per second and ended up at about 856 feet per second. That was with 44 shots. So that's good. However, I got a bonus for you guys. I discovered the sweet spot on this. Okay, the sweet spot on this was between shot number 21 and shot number 41. Okay, so what that means is between those shots, those 20 shots right there in that window, I averaged 919 feet per second, which was about 34 foot pounds of energy. Okay, and so that means right around 2900 PSI. 
you can you know I charted this thing out you can see it obviously up here so at 2900 psi all the way down to about 1800 psi I got 20 really tight consistent shots that averaged 919 feet per second as we claim so basically what I'm saying is you could just top this gun out at 3000 psi right there and shoot your 20 shots and then fill it back up and you would be in that window all the time in that not averaging 900 feet per second and it would take you to go from after you shoot those 20 shots just to get up to the um, 3000 psi it'd take you about 60 pumps so it takes you 60 pumps to get there but then the, you'd be right there in that sweet spot every time so you wouldn't even have to fill this all the way up to the, the um, 3600 psi so keep that in mind okay another positive accuracy this thing was phenomenal as far as accuracy you saw that we got what was it uh, two tenths of an inch center to center insane it's fantastic and power whoo as I just talked about you get up to 34 foot-pounds of energy I mean this is amazing and it's lightweight I was thinking this is like a hunter's dream think about this you could take this out in the field you could get really you could get 40 usable shots but you have those really hot 20 shots that average over 900 feet per second so I mean it's really a hunter's dream and then you ask yourself okay if I want to get into a PCP rifle there's always the question of air source what I'm going to do they set this up with that way that chamber is and how this fills up it's it's seriously it's a cakewalk and especially like I said if you only want to do the 60 pumps you can go from zero to that 3000 psi and then shoot your 20 shots and then pump it back up so that's a thought too so it's it's very versatile I love the fact they did the combination rail so whatever type of scope rail that you want to put on this you can I love the fact it comes with two magazines coming to with two magazines is always a bargain and these are really easy to load they're their typical Umarex type magazines you've seen these before you just rotate it all the way over drop a pellet in rotate it back and drop one in until it's full and they're ready to go but the gun's good. I like the trigger. I like the stock. Um, it's good looking. It's a it's a classy gun. I'm telling you, this is this is would be your dream if you haven't been into PCP rifles and you want to get into them. This is like the perfect opportunity for you because this is really a good rifle. Like I said, for 350 bucks, you're getting the pump. So the pump's probably 140, 150 bucks. So that means you're paying about 200 dollars for this gun, and uh, that's a bargain. And I love the fact it has this big side lever it's so easy to cock and then I like where the gauge is too it's real visible really easy to keep an eye on that so you ask yourself how would I rate this gun you saw what it did in the plinking too we were at 40 yards I was shooting those small shotgun shells no problem whatsoever and it does hit with authority okay to answer your question five stars it's definitely getting five stars and again I really do like that ever pressure tank system because it really does work hey don't forget if you haven't please hit the subscribe button down below um, check out my website unfortunately I am out of bipods right now I'm having issues with the manufacturer but I'm working on something much better that hopefully will come through here in the near future so with that I appreciate you guys tuning in don't forget this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun until next time